everyone, I'm Anuka from Create by K. Today I'll show you how to crochet this Tunisian stitch. It's very easy to make. Just need to make a row one and then repeat a row two. It's stretchy and looks so beautiful. So this is the front and this is the back. If you want to see how I did this, please keep on watching. I have two hooks. Both of them, they are four millimeter hooks. The difference between the two of them is that this one, the blue one, have this plastic handle and this one doesn't have it. And because we are working with a lot of loops for beginners, I will choose this one and not this one because it is short right here. I'll show you in the tutorial a little bit later what I mean. So we begin with a slip knot and this loop I like to be a little bit longer you see it's a little bit loose and then make a chain. Now we make this loop longer, then we yarn over and we go in this chain and make a long loop. That's one time, yarn over again, again to the chain, a long loop. I go with my finger all the time right here to keep the yarn, see, and then I go down to the chain, grab the yarn, and make, I have one, two, three, yarn over, go back, four, yarn over, go back to that chain, five, six, seven, and the last one, Now what we're gonna do is the two of them like this we count one and then again the next two and the next two. So what I see here is one two and three but if I count them I have one two three four five six and we grab the yarn and pull through all of them like this then we chain one again we grab the yarn pull through that chain right here and then we go to one two three four or one two there are four over there again we chain one grab the yarn pull through that and everything else and we chain one right here. We make this loop longer. But we see right here we have this space and this space right there. And then where we have the two loops, we have a bump right here on top. So we're gonna go right there and make the loops. If you um, make this right, everything else is going to be so easy okay so now we have this long loop what we're going to do we go with the hook right here where we have the first chain one space grab the yarn make a long loop yarn over and we go back that's two yarn over go back that's three now right here on top we go with the, make one long loop yarn over and we go back make another long loop so now we have two long loops and here we repeat the three long loops one yarn over two yarn over and three and now 
we can see that one two three what one two three four five this time and grab the yarn and pull through all of them then make a chain then again pull through that loop and then the next one two three then make a chain grab the yarn pull through everything and to make a chain and now we just need to repeat row 2 we go right here 1 yarn over 2 yarn over 3 times when we have the pump right here we go 1 time yarn over and 2 times and then right here one yarn over two yarn over and three and again you can see what we need to wrap the yarn and pull through the loops then make the chain then again grab the yarn pull through that grab the yarn and pull through on this loop right here and then the two loops or three if we count them like this or if you see one two if you see right here we see one and two then grab the yarn make a chain grab the yarn again pull through that loop and the, everything from over there to make a chain now I'm going to show you with this hook we have a handle that we repeat one time, two times and three times then right here we go one and two and now we go right here one two and three it's a little bit tight over here you see like it's loose but still tight so for beginner i will think it's a little bit hard to keep all the loops on the hook so like that i suggest to use the other one then make a chain then grab the yarn pull through make a chain now we grab the yarn and pull through all the loops and we make a chain and this is the front this is the back it's very easy to to make this if you go with the first row right everything else go so easy